friends, and welcome to our Bible story time today. Do you remember our Easter custom? Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. He is risen indeed. Wonderful. Well, as we look at our church calendar, we were in the season of Lent, which is purple. And now we are in the season of Easter, which is white. Easter changes everything. So let's move our arrow here. The first Sunday. During Lent, we learned about the many miracles that Jesus did. And now Jesus is alive. It is the greatest miracle of all. Jesus is not on the cross anymore. Jesus is alive. Last week was Easter, and today is the first week of Easter season, also called Easter Tide or Easter Time. And it's a season of the church year that focuses on the resurrection of Jesus Christ. It begins on Easter Sunday, and then it goes for six more Sundays, one, two, three, four, five, six, until Pentecost Sunday. Woo! That is hot. The season of Easter, or Eastertide, extends the joy of Easter. Easter is too big to hold in just one day. It also helps us have time to prepare for the mystery of Pentecost, which is coming. This is the time of Jesus' earthly ministry while he was here after he resurrected until he ascended before the coming of the Holy Spirit. It is a special time when the disciples and many others began to know Jesus in a new way. And it gives us time to learn how to know Jesus in a new way also after his resurrection. So let's go have our story. All right, let's start with our three breath prayer to get our hearts ready to listen. God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Amen. And as we light our Jesus candle today, we remember that Jesus is the light of the world. And no matter how dark it might seem, Jesus is always there to light our way. I hope you had a wonderful Easter with your family. Did you have a chance Oop. to find any crosses around your house? I hope you did. If not, you can continue looking this week, or maybe you can draw a picture of a cross to hang somewhere. And the cross reminds us that Jesus died for our sins, but he did not stay dead. The greatest miracle of all is that Jesus is alive. Jesus is not on the cross. He is risen. He is risen indeed. Today, we are going to have a story from the Gospels, and we're going to be reviewing some of the things that we've learned about Easter. So, let's have our story time. Purple is the color of kings. I have this bag, sort of a mystery. Let's see what's inside. Hmm, it's an interesting shape. There's more. Hmm, another piece, three, more. A long piece. One last piece. That's it. Hmm. I wonder if we could put these together 
and make something. Hmm. Oh, that looks like it fits. starting to take shape that we could fit this right in here. It is a cross. The six pieces go together to form one cross, just like the six weeks of Lent bring us to Easter. But even though we started with the color purple, Easter changes everything. We now have a fresh beginning. And look what happens if we turn these pieces over also. The color changes here. The color changes for the whole season of Eastertide. The celebration of Easter is just too big to keep in one day or even one week. We're now looking back at the miracle of Easter and looking forward to Pentecost, the day we celebrate the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit wasn't born on Pentecost like we celebrate Jesus being born as a baby at Christmas. The Holy Spirit is God, God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. And he has always been, which we call eternal. That means forever and ever. God is eternal. But there are special days that we celebrate special things. Like on Easter, we celebrate the resurrection and on Pentecost, we will celebrate the special day that the Holy Spirit specially came to the followers of Jesus after Jesus had ascended to heaven. On Pentecost, the Holy Spirit came just as Jesus had promised to send him to help them with the work that Jesus would have them do. The work of telling the whole world the good news of Jesus, his death for our sins on the cross, and his resurrection, because nothing is more powerful than God. If there is something that is so important to you, how do you remember? How do you tell others? Jesus told his disciples to tell the whole world the good news message. And now we have heard through the Bible, through our parents, through our pastors, we have heard and we can tell others. The Easter story is such an important story that we are going to tell it again, but with a different book. We remember and retell the Easter story every year because it is the greatest miracle of all. It's on our church calendar with a special symbol, the cross, to remind us of Jesus. And many Christians wear a cross necklace to remind them of Jesus. We put crosses in our home and we remember Jesus as he told us to when we take communion and remember the Last Supper with his disciples. So I want to read you the Resurrection Storybook. The Resurrection Story. On Palm Sunday, Jesus was welcomed to Jerusalem by a cheering crowd. The people of the city shouted, Hosanna to God in the highest. Jesus gathered his disciples 
for the Passover supper. He told them to always come together in memory of him. Later that night, Jesus went to a garden to pray to his father. He knew what he would soon face, but Jesus had faith in God's plan. Jesus was hung on a cross and died. His disciples were very sad. Darkness covered the land, but Jesus said he would rise in three days. Jesus rose from the tomb on the third day, just as he said he would. And because he died for us, we can have eternal life through him. The stone has been rolled away. The tomb is empty. And now we can have a new start, new life, and a new friendship with God. Alleluia. All right, let's close our time together by saying the Lord's Prayer. Say it with me. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. This week, see if you can tell someone the good news about Jesus. You can see if you can find a cross in your house and you can use that to tell them that Jesus is not there anymore because Jesus is alive. As we change our light today, we are looking forward to the Holy Spirit, which will be the gift of Pentecost. You can hear more stories about Easter and Holy Week if you listen to the other videos on our Paz Naz Family Life YouTube channel. God bless you and your family. Hope to see you next week. Bye-bye.